you substitution is learned by doing, but we can demonstrate an example or two to sort of get you started. Let's integrate x squared times the square root of x cubed plus one. You have a composition here, the square root of an inside function, and you have more or less, you have the derivative of this inside function. If we let you be the inside function, we don't quite have the derivative, but we've got the x squared, and as long as we're only off by a constant, we can put constants in. where we need them to be. And then, you know, of course, we put the reciprocal in if we just multiplied by three. we would change the integrand and we don't want to change the integrand. And now we're golden. 3x squared dx is going to give us du. We have one third the integral of the square root of u du. Remembering that the square root of u is u to the one half, we integrate it like so. And as we've discussed before, an arbitrary constant times a third, well, that's still an arbitrary constant. Finally, u is a dummy variable. It's not something we want to have in our final solution. But fortunately, we can get rid of it. We still have some room on the page. So let's integrate um, the sine of x times e to the cosine of x. We have composition here. 
E raised to the cosine. The cosine is the inside function. And we have the derivative of the inside function more or less as with the previous example, we are off by a constant, but also with our previous example that hardly matters, we can add a negative in front of the sign. We will multiply by negative one so that we're not changing anything. That negative one comes out. And this is e to the u, the negative sine of x dx, give us du. So this is negative the integral of e to the u du, which is negative the antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u. Again, when we distribute this constant, we don't attach it to c. If c is completely arbitrary, then a negative c is completely arbitrary. And there is our indefinite integral.